friends so my name is Prem Asim and in this lecture of Mongo tutorials we are going to learn about the operators which are known as exists and type when we are trying to do a query uh, query criteria for match so as you already know that when we are trying to find and we don't give any value here it shows us all the records and with ID 0 it won't show you the ID stuff so you see the clean so uh, first let us try to understand the use case where we need to use dollar exist and then we'll see so when we analyze this record it has the record for students with the name they have some rank in sequence we use the same data set for sorting on the basis of rank and skip and like other um, uh, stuff you know after this so um, now uh, what we analyze is uh, since mongo is unstructured uh, there is no constraint or nobody enforces it to have the similar uh, documents um, or the tuples for each so we see there are something where where they have honors and where they don't have so uh, it's the task just imagine that these are like thousands and thousands of data students where somebody has honors and you have to figure that out then how would you do that so it's really simple in the find you need to go and say h o n o u r honor and then you have to pass the object and then you have to say dollar e x i s t s dollar exists one which means whatever the record which have this thing existing out of all it would show only that the vice versa is also true you might want other record where the students they don't have any honor subject how to find that so you just say zero or false and you can list them out like the Sandy, Trish, Peter, Jack, John, Massey, Penny, etc. So that's the use case for uh, some at, uh, some field or some attribute if it's missing and you if it's there and you want those records or if you want those records where it's missing you can do it like this. So let's clean it up and let's move ahead so again we have a record now there uh, since I told you Mongo is uh, uh, maybe we can say dynamic structured or it unstructured one and the same thing it doesn't enforce you to follow the convention for any field for example the rating the value of rating is A in some university and uh, somewhere they have these numbers somewhere they have these uh, like rating as super so we need to figure out what type of uh, the data is against the field because you can give any field against these uh, field, like any value against these field so uh, just to you know if you wanna deep dive into this I would highly recommend you to go to mongo references and you can find that they have type wherein they have a, a number or an alias of the string so you can figure out if it's a string if it's a double or if it's an array whatever like different data type it includes the date time so these are the possible values which an attribute can have and in mongo database one attribute or one field can have any of these values but they have a corresponding number so just to make it faster let's try to figure out all the records where rating is a string like a or like super something like that so how to figure it's like super simple we have in the match the first parameter is like the match you don't have to take this it's a projection it's optional I just you know use so that uh, ID doesn't clutter our data so uh, ratings R A T I R A T I and yes ratings and we can say that where the type of rating is 2 
and we got two like the i mean it's two is for strength so we got these results and we can find if we make it one then what happens so one is for number where it's not string wherever it's number you see these records